11. Emergency after emergency after emergency, the Bureau of Land Management frequently announces what it called emergency roundups of wild horses. But are they really? And what happens to the horses once they're captured? The I team's Vanessa Murphy takes a closer look at the issue and also tries to get some answers. This is footage from wild horses being captured in Nevada. Families get separated, foals get left behind. Operations like these are organized by the Bureau of Land Management, or BLM. They're running horses through really diverse and jagged landscapes where accidents happen. In 2018, the BLM reports 11 roundups in the Silver State alone, 153 related wild horse deaths, 11 of them acute, meaning because of a roundup, and eight of them shot on a wild horse sanctuary owned by billionaire Madeline Pickens without her permission. Nearly 6,000 wild horses and burrows were captured, more than 900 of them foals. They're separated, the mares from the babies and from the stallions, and then they're shipped off to government holding facilities where they spend the remainder of their lives. Grace Kuhn is the communications director for Washington-based American Wild Horse Campaign. We work to uh, keep wild horses wild on our public lands in the West. When the BLM prepares for the roundup, the agency is required to provide notice so the public can weigh in but not when an emergency roundup is declared. Take, for example, the roundup at the Nevada Test and Training Range. 8 News Now received notification the day before. The I-Team examined timing for all of the, quote, emergencies. The most advanced warning, just four days. And the press releases look quite similar, often using the same justifications. So far this year, the BLM has declared six out of 11 roundups as emergencies. We believe that the BLM has been misusing the emergency roundup protocol as a way to remove large quantities of wild horses and burros from public lands and also as a way to legally bypass their requirements for the analysis and the uh, public input. According to the BLM, emergencies are declared when unexpected events threaten the health and welfare of a wild horse and burrow population and or their habitat. And the amount of forage and water is considered for the health of the land and the animals. But the National Academy of Sciences released a BLM Commission study in 2013 saying the BLM should stop the roundups and pursue fertility control instead. People think like, oh, leave all the horses out there are great. No, I, I would love that just as much as anybody else. But you can't. And the reason why you can't is the rangeland isn't just for horses. Our repeated requests for an interview with the BLM were denied. Daddy needs one of his kisses. But Brian Smith, who often works with the BLM, agreed to talk with us. Give me a kiss. Okay. Okay. He and his wife run Funny Farm Mustangs. He was wild. He was wild. He was wild. A Las Vegas-based not-for-profit which fosters animals in need and gentles wild horses and burros for people who adopt them. There's a lot of great things that the BLM does. There's some things that I don't, I absolutely don't agree with. While Smith believes the roundups are needed, he says the BLM does a terrible job of getting the word out about adoptions. When's the last time you saw a billboard or an advertisement sign posted or anywhere that says adopt one of your country's wild horses or burros. As of October 2018, more than 4,400 wild horses and burros were in Nevada's holding facilities. The fallacy is in thinking we're going to get all these guys adopted all the time. Well, it's impossible if you're not if we're not getting the information out. The cost to adopt an animal is $125. But to groups like the American Wild Horse Campaign, that's not the answer, since Kuhn says none of this should be happening in the first place. All they, they have is their family and their freedom, and they lose both of those at roundups. Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now. Many of the horses spend their lives living in a pen once they're rounded up. Now, in fact, the next one is planned for next week on public lands near Ely. For more information on Funny Farm Mustangs and the American Wild Horse Campaign, you can head to our website at lasvegasnow.com. And by the way, we also do have information on how you can adopt a wild horse or burrow.